Voici l'un des sujets phares d'Instagram, le moi et l'amélioration de soi. Sur cette application, les artistes se mettent en scène. En matière d'art numérique et de performance, Instagram ouvre le regard sur un autre univers. Es gibt immer wieder Individuen, die aus der Masse herausstechen und Dinge anders machen als alle anderen. Und warum sind die interessant? Weil sie authentisch sind, Themen ansprechen, die sonst nicht angesprochen werden. Und genauso ist es bei Künstlern und Künstlerinnen. Ja klar, man kann mit dem Strom schwimmen, so ist das auch auf dem Kunstmarkt. Aber man kann eben auch was Eigenes für sich finden. Sur Instagram, le photographe hispano-croate et performeur Philippe Koustik a plusieurs facettes. Il est à la fois modèle de nu, influenceur et artiste numérique. Les frontières s'effacent. Philippe Koustik expose sa vie d'artiste sur Instagram. I like to communicate my day by day life as an artist. That's why I like to do more artistic stories, not stories of hey I'm here hanging with my friend. I also like that, but I think as an artist nowadays it's very important that you are like a 360 artist that you manifest your art not only in a picture but also on stories on reels on every app you have to be like an artist you have to be able to translate your creativity into the social network reel un reel est une vidéo très courte constituée de plusieurs clips qui durent maximum 30 secondes dans un reel on peut assembler ses vidéos et celles d'autres personnes accélérer la vitesse de lecture, faire des split screens ou choisir de la musique cool. Ce terme vient de l'anglais « reel » qui veut dire « bobine ». On y déroule ses vidéos comme on déroule une bobine, encore et encore. As an artist, I think it's a, it's a great resource of inspiration because you receive a lot of inputs. If you cannot find anything anywhere, the algorithm will show you something interesting that you may like. So for me, it's also a good way to find inspiration and to find new artists, to connect with other people, to know how to collaborate. I think this virtual relationship I have built and other artists have built with each other is really good because we have no limits in the distance. If I need Instagram to be an artist, I think it's another tool. It's just another tool. You can use it, you cannot use it. It's true that nowadays, if you don't have Instagram as an artist, you limit yourself a lot. Instagram helps you to expand, and I think it makes you grow faster. It makes you have like a, a, good, platform, a, good, a good platform where everyone can see you, and I think that's what an artist wants. Die ersten Künstler und Künstlerinnen auf Instagram, da müsste man vielleicht unterscheiden zwischen etablierten Künstlern und Künstlerinnen, also solche, die schon bekannt waren. Da wäre dann der erste Fotograf, äh, Stephen Shaw, Amerikaner, der in den 70er Jahren bekannt geworden ist mit New Color Photography. Und dann fing er im Jahr 2014 an, Instagram als künstlerisches Medium zu nutzen. Und er hat sich eben immer der Zeit angepasst und geschaut, was ist gerade aktuell. Und dann hat er eben geschaut, okay, wie funktioniert diese Plattform? Und es ging gar nicht darum, ein perfektes Bild zu machen, also ich nenne es jetzt mal Kunstfotografie, sondern er wollte fotografieren wie die breitere Masse und ist durch Amerika gereist, hat jedes Frühstück fotografiert, jede Person, die er getroffen hat und das waren Snapshots. Und jetzt fotografiert er eben, ja, wie fast jeder fotografiert, der Instagram nutzt. Also ich habe mal in meiner Kolumne geschrieben, eigentlich sieht der Instagram-Account von des weltberühmten Fotografen Stephen Shaw aus wie der meiner eigenen Mutter. Sur Instagram, les artistes reconnus vont à l'encontre de leurs célébrités en affichant une certaine modestie. En revanche, les petits nouveaux tentent de saisir leur chance en mettant en avant leur compte et leur grid, comme s'ils étaient déjà des professionnels. Grid. Le grid est essentiel pour la première impression, un peu comme lors d'un coup de foudre amoureux. Il permet de structurer sa page avec des petits carrés, c'est utile pour tout ce qui est posté sur le profil. Et d'où vient ce terme Bien évidemment de l'anglais, une fois de plus. Le mot « grid » signifie « filet » ou encore « grille ». Philippe Koustik a fait de l'application InstaFace le support de son art. Il met en lumière le corps et la beauté grâce à la technologie offerte par Instagram. My main inspiration right now is not only human body, but also human mind. And how 
this and technology and how technology affects the human mind and the human physicality. That's like my main obsession and inspiration. Ces clips viennent sublimer la beauté des corps dénudés. My obsession in life is to achieve new ideas, to elevate the human to another level, to learn more, to find new solutions, to experience the life in, in, in this world in a different way. Permettre à l'humain de s'élever. Voilà ce dont il est question dans le métaverse pour lequel Philippe Coustic crée des avatars. I can put one eye green, one eye blue, one mouth big, one ear from a 60-year-old woman, the other ear from a five-year-old baby. So that's my upcoming sculpture. It's, it's all about how are we going to be able to change our skins in the virtual world. So our skin, our body will lose value because the only value is the virtual avatar will be only be that one because that's the only one that lives forever because when you die your body lives and your body goes underground and but your avatar is still on the internet doing things qui s'intéresse encore au monde réel ici on parle de metaverse dans cet univers conçu pour l'éternité nous sommes immortels this present time that we are living in it's really inspiring because for the first time we are playing with this thing called technology and this thing that we have called metaverse or, or, or virtual world. We are teach that we have to create a profile and the next level of creating a profile with a pic is creating your own avatar. So I'm just getting ready for that moment when you have to have like the avatar created by yourself. An avatar for an avenir numérique. I like the freedom virtual world gives to the artist because you are not limited by the physics or the law of physics of the real world, but you can experiment like in infinite ways. Aujourd'hui, Philippe Coustic prolonge déjà sa vie d'artiste dans le futur. I decided to play the game. If I wouldn't want to play the game, I would stop playing it. But it's like an addiction. I, sometimes I've questioned myself, like, I would like to stop to play this game because it's really intense. And it, it you have to be posting. If you don't post, you are not there. And... Offline. Ce terme décrit un statut. Quand on est offline, on est injoignable sur Instagram, numériquement mort mais espérons-le encore bien vivant dans le monde réel. It's like I give them they give us. So if we give them content, the algorithm will benefit us. So for me, I wouldn't work for what I do if I wouldn't have Instagram because thanks to Instagram that's been like a a window of me saying hey, I do this and I can do it all the time. Yeah. I'm doing this not thinking that I'm do it, doing it in purpose. I'm like a victim of this Instagram situation and that's, this is the way like I'm manifesting my creativity. And it looks like, like I want to play with the body because it's my obsession, because this, that's what we are. So I think we are living in a very stressful beauty situation where we have like the expectations to achieve like an avatar goal on the virtual world and that's like in real life that's impossible so now we are like in this transition of dealing with our our earth avatar with our virtual avatar and that's like the constant conversation i'm having with myself and the people that i'm portraying i'm trying to face human insecurities because i think we are too obsessed with being perfect. 
au diable la perfection. L'essentiel est d'être présent dans le monde numérique. Voilà le credo d'Instagram. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs>